First, I'll show you a really simple APR request. We'll get the latest exchange rates from the European Central Bank. But to do that, we need to know that they have an API. And then we need to know how to make an API request to that API. But to tell you the truth, the European Central Bank official API service is a bit complex at first look. So let's take something a bit simpler. I have made a web search to find some exchange rate APIs, and this is how I found this API. It uses the ECB API, but has less functionality and is a bit less complex. Also, the documentation is easier to understand. This is a public API, so anyone can use it. It's also usable without any authentication. Usually this is not a good idea even with public APIs unless the data is cached heavily. That means that the data is stored and served so that it's very fast and cheap to serve millions of requests. The other thing is that if you offer an API without authentication, you have no idea who is using it and if something needs to be changed, which would break the API or if you decide not to continue serving the API, there is no way to really contact the users and inform them. But for this training purpose, it's good that we can call this API in a very simple way. So let's start. For this demo, I'm using Postman. You can get it free from their site and install to your computer. It's pretty easy to use, although there are some more fancy features in it too. For example, API testing. I'll find the request I need to get the latest rates from the API documentation. I'll copy the URL to Postman. It's a GET request, so it's pretty easy. The only thing I need to, is the URL and to make sure I use the GET method. I'll click SEND and the API request is executed. Now it gives me back a list of exchange rates. It also tells me that my request was successful. There is a status code 200 OK. If something went wrong, it should show me some other status code. Although some APIs just give back 200 in any case, which is annoying and not very helpful. I could now also try this in Excel, Power BI, or any other tool that can handle API requests. Or I could code my own application where I could use this exchange rate information. For example, I used to work in an ERP company where we got the exchange rates automatically overnight to handle invoices and currency related functionality and reporting. It saved us and our customers from having to update them manually. You can try this now yourself and we'll get into more details in the next video.